Hey guys, it's Tom and I'm here today with another video and this is the monthly update for November. Now, this update yet again has, like the others, has come late and that is because I was on holiday during the time so obviously I couldn't post the video or make the video and then post it. So sorry about that but it is coming late again. Last three have been late which is pretty rubbish but... At least they're still coming. It's just a video just to show what's going on and to keep my YouTube with some content rather than not having videos for long periods of time. The first thing I want to get into this video is that I want to start a schedule, not a serious one like Danny Lego Buff Productions is starting to do with one pretty much every other day, but just trying to post at least a video a week. And I know that's going to be tough, but that'd be really good if I could manage to do that. Um, yeah, I'm going to be uploading some other videos, and yeah, so I'll just get into it. Um, first thing I'll start with is the DNA. Um, you see down there, it's very dark in this room. I'll move it, move it over there just so you can see better. But what happened since I finished the mock, I decided to try and go with the double helix. Oh, try and go with the double helix effect. Like so. Down at the bottom, you see. I'll just get the light on it. But you see that double helix. But it didn't seem to work very well. And it maybe it's because it's too small. So I think in the actual video, I'm going to see how it works. Um, Finish it to the top maybe, but it is very fragile with the second one and you can't really see it very well. Maybe I'll do a merged video with both the double and the single helix, even though single helix isn't really DNA because it is double helixed. Um, another cool thing, I think I'll just keep everything over here just because it's not really bright everywhere else. So. I just move this stuff across. I've prototyped for Hoff. You may have seen this. It just looks like a big block. But there. So that is a snow speeder bay. Now I could have used the one by the one by one one by one by three one by two by threes. Yeah. Uh, inverted slopes to do that but they're they are very expensive those and I don't have any of them so I decided to use hinges to make the wall as it is obviously in the final thing it wouldn't have the brown at the bottom but if you get an idea and I did um, originally want to have a textured wall at the side rather than just having a, a flat wall and if I showed those pads that I made, um, they would go between them. So imagine there'd be several of those, one there going at the other angle, of a, yeah, other direction. And then the pad between and the snow speeder would go in the gap there. So it kind of, it's... It takes a lot of pieces, it's a very bulky thing, and but I'm still working on it, I'm working on, I'm thinking of medical room ideas and different stuff, so yeah, and yeah, I posted my mock video, Ooh. I posted my mock video, it's had great response, in the first two days it got um, over 100 views I think, which was absolutely fantastic, and yeah. Um, now it's got about 250 and it's been just over a week and I put the intro on one of my videos once so that was interesting um, I'll just take that off just so you can see the brightness very dark I forgot to film it I forgot how dark it gets now so I should have filmed it earlier but it's still okay I did reorganise the room a bit um, move that stuff across to the like it is now and it was slightly different but it just means that it's more organised with the boxes more organised there and then the boxes are all the way down the back 
side there so that works out really well um, any other things um, I did build the X-Wing I made I finished I completed my aim for this month even though I was away but this sticker it's a bugger that it was I knew from other youtubers that it was really awkward to do but oh god I'll just pick it up pretty bulky thing but this sticker I'm not sure if you can see but so that it's just so awkward to place on don't know why Lego didn't print it I did put I did it perfectly pretty much for those sides but then the uh, just getting trapped in there so and you can't flatten it out or anything looks okay still but oh, it's just Lego was put so much effort on their instruction book to tell you how to do it properly why didn't they just print it but I didn't use the second sticker sheet I was tempted to peel it off but I just thought if it turned out even worse I would have been even more annoyed at myself and I did find another thing that they never told you to put on the sticker there oh focus they never told you to put on the sticker there and on the actual anywhere in the book and on the instruction manual and the box it shows the sticker there and then the actual sticker that's there there but it shows that stick that exact sticker on the other side as well on the book but then the sticker that it gives you to do that is the opposite way round but yeah I do really like the set it's great and I love the thrusters at the back how they've done that with the transparent pink flowers it's hard to get understand though there we go um yeah that's about it mock video if you haven't seen it check it out it's good but yeah i really would like to go into this schedule that would be fantastic <laughs> um but yeah if you haven't seen the mock check it out definitely and i i'm not sure what the videos would be there might be old set reviews but i am going to be filming videos of different things i'm gonna um do a video of the waterfall that might be interesting um, video of the DNA and some other stuff so remember to check out my um, YouTube channel for some good Lego content I guess um, but yeah this has been the monthly update sorry about it being late again but yeah um, if you'd like to view which probably didn't because it was a bit boring and rubbish light quality um, give it a like and if you already haven't please subscribe Thanks very much for watching and bye.